Okay, hi, uh, Akshay. How hi. are you? I am fine. What about you? Uh, yes, thank you. I'm good. And uh, thank you for asking. Uh, Akshay, um, as I can see your resume, it's quite interesting. So, yeah, can I get a small introduction of yours? Yes, thank you for giving me this opportunity. My name is Latya Akshay Basak. I have completed... Um, Sorry, you are not audible. Yes, uh, yes. I have I have two years of experience in SQL in Infosys. Mm -hmm. This is all about me. Okay. Okay, fine. So Akshay, uh, as I can see that you are well proficient in SQL, correct? Yes. All right. So uh, Akshay, uh, how would you rate yourself on a scale of uh, you know one to ten in between one to ten? Eight. Eight. All right. Uh, may I know what are your weaknesses and strength? My strength is a good communication skill, adapt new learn things. And my weakness is I can trust easily on people. Okay. Fine. So don't you think trusting uh, everyone is a weak, I mean, uh, is a drawback again? Yes. So how would you uh, overcome this thing? Okay, before I'm working, uh, I'm working on that, the, to understand the how people are this and after that I will think to trust on him or not. Well, now well, I'm working on that weakness. Well. Fine. Uh, so uh, let's come back to the SQL part, the technical part. All right. So are you ready? Yes. All right. So Akshay, uh, just let me know uh, what do you understand by the term SQL and uh, what it is used for. SQL is uh, stands for the structure query language and we, uh, we, we are using for the uh, gathering the data and managing manipulating the data. All right. Can you uh, can you explain a bit more? Uh, in uh, we can use manipulating data like, like insert update. We can delete also with the help of uh, manipulation language. With the help of DDL, we can create table and we can insert records and uh, like this. All right, all right, fine. So, uh, Akshay, what do you understand by the term, you know, uh, subquery and uh, how it is different from a regular query? Subquery is nothing but the uh, it's innermost query. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, it's the innermost query. All right. Okay, so how it is different? Uh, dif uh, different from a regular query? Uh, in like a normal query, we can write, uh, I will explain with the examples. Uh -huh, sure, go ahead. Uh, like uh, we have to find the maximum uh, salary. Okay. Only we can use a select max in salary from mm -hmm. uh, like the employer table. We can find in a group by of uh, like employee ID. Okay. On the basis of employee, we can find maximum. Suppose we have to find the uh, second highest salary. Okay. In that case, we can use the uh, subquery. Okay, fine. Got you. Okay. Uh, may I know the difference between what is inner join, left join, right join, and full join? Yes, inner join, it's the matching condition. We uh, If the condition is matching, then uh, we get uh, all the common uh, rows of that two tables. In left join, uh, whichever we are using in left join on that table, we get all the rows of that tables and another tables only match rows. Okay. What about right join and full join? In right join, uh, there, uh, whichever we are using the right join on that table, that tables, all the rows uh, and or all the rows get executed. Well, and uh, what about the full join? Full join, uh, all the rows of the both the tables are executed. Now, are you are you sure on that? Mm, yes. Okay. Well, so uh, actually, tell me. Uh, so you have used plenty of projects, correct? You have been a part of plenty of projects. So uh, how do you retrieve uh, unique records from a table? What do you we do can use case? the distinct keyword and with the help of distinct keywords, we can use, uh, we can uh, retrieve the 
retrieve the records Are you unique sure? record yes okay all right uh what is the purpose of group by clause group by clause we can use if suppose we have an employee uh, employed uh, we have in our uh, suppose we have a school in school there are different departments and different uh, boys mm -hmm. we want to calculate the students which are in uh, uh, suppose we have the department a b c d okay. we have to calculate the uh, students in our school uh, how many in a how many b and how many c d with the help of group by uh, by department we can calculate the uh, uh, in uh, how many students in uh, department a in department b that uh, we can use for the group by clause then what is the difference between a where clause and a having clause in sql uh, where clause we can use uh, for the filtering conditions like and having clause we can use with the help of uh, using the aggregation up, after suppose we have to find uh, uh, so, uh, with the help of up the after the aggregation we can use the having clause sure yes just think and tell me once are you sure on that with the help of uh, uh, we can use the having on suppose uh, we have the uh, records uh, like uh, um, can i take uh, two to three minutes yeah 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 sure uh, akshay you can uh, tell me with an example that's fine give me two minutes i will uh... yeah sure just recall Yes, uh, in, uh, we can take same examples of the school. Mm -hmm. In school, there are various departments like A, B, C, D. Okay. And uh, in uh, we can group make up A, B, C uh, group. After that, we have to find uh, uh, we have two student like we have uh, in that department. The more than the twenty students in that uh, department, okay. that's the uh, department will show for us. Mm -hmm. At that moment, we can use the having clause. Okay. 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 Fine. Uh, then how do you uh, use, I mean, uh, how would you handle null values in SQL queries? Uh, with the help of uh, is null and uh, coalesces. Okay, okay. Uh, can you tell me how to filter, replace or handle null values again? Uh, is null, we can write the, in is null, uh, we can give the like, uh, Suppose we have given the value, the is null, there in, in brackets, we have the like 50 and then zero. If okay. it is give the 50 value, if is null in the bracket, there NA, uh, there is null and we give the value zero, it output will give the zero like mm -hmm. this. Okay, 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 fine, good. So, um, uh, Akshay, uh, describe the process of creating an index in SQL. How would you do it? Indexing it is used for the retrieval the speed of the data. No, but how to create an index in SQL? That are, that's what my question is. Sorry, I forgot. No issue, no issue, no issue. Okay. Uh, do you know the factors to consider when designing indexes uh, for a database? There are cluster index and non-cluster index, and uh, mm -hmm. we are using uh, like the primary key we need to be uh, for the indexes. When we are designing the indexes, we can on the primary column, uh, primary key column, we can uh, apply an index. So as you said that uh, clustered index, what do you understand by the term clustered index? A cluster index, they are uh, physically in a manner like in ascending order. Okay, sure. Uh, not order in order manner, physical. Okay, 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 fine. So, uh, and what about non-clustered index? They are not in order manner. Yes, that's the basic difference. Nothing else.
well not an issue okay let's jump into the next question uh, what do you understand by asset in the context of a database transaction asset asset their atomicity consistency integrity and durability okay so what does that do can you explain a bit more Okay, not an issue. Uh, so, uh, Akshay, just let me know what do you uh, understand by, just give me an outline, okay. Uh, what do you understand by the term uh, deadlock? What? Deadlock, deadlock. Sorry, have you, I... Okay, fine, fine, fine. Uh, have, you, have you come across the word uh, CTE, the term CTE? Uh, common table expression. Okay, what does that do? It is a uh, we it is a like a temporary table. We can store the data for the temporary tables. Uh -huh. Temporary. Okay. Okay. Then, then. it can be used uh, the simple. Uh, we can make a complex query into simpler like that. We are using the. Can you can you can you just give me a real time example for that? Is that okay? Where you can use CTE. Just give me two minutes. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, we can use also CT for the, uh, like uh, we have to find the second max uh, salary. Uh, okay. We have, uh, we can use the row by the window functions, using window functions, the, there is a row, uh, we are using for the, the window function like Dane Sank. We can find first the maximum salary. After that, in CT, we are, after that, we can take from the CT and we are giving these RN like uh, equals to two. And then we get the, okay, okay. the my second highest salary. Okay. You said that uh, dense rank. Now, uh, yeah. explain to me the difference between a rank and a dense rank. Where can we use dense rank and where can we use rank? Rank, uh, it's giving the, give like the one, two, three, like uh, it's the same also. It can skip that iteration and uh, it goes to the next. It's the same, uh, same record, like the same uh, record. It can skip and give the another number. But in dense rank, it uh, suppose like we have the records one, two, three, four, uh, five, five, six. Like in rank, it gives you one, two, three, four. Uh, then five and then seven it gives in rank and in uh, dense rank it is this one two three four uh, five six uh, five 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 only for that okay super uh, okay uh, Akshay uh, can you just uh, give me an outline what do you understand by the term schema and how it is different from a database Sorry, I'm not aware about. Okay, fine. Uh, any difference between a uh, temporary table and a temp uh, table variable? No. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Uh, so, why do you use uh, in SQL? Why do you use the uh, the uh, what is the purpose of rollback? No idea. There is no idea. Fine. Uh, any difference between uh, drop, delete, and truncate? Yes. Drop, it can delete the data. Like the table, whole tables can delete. Okay. And in truncate, it can delete the, from the data, uh, from the table. And uh, like the structure is present in that. Uh, and uh, in uh, delete, uh, the specific condition, we can uh, delete the row or column. Specific condition, sorry? On specific condition, we can delete. Okay, on specific condition, fine. Okay. Well, uh, so that was from my end as uh, on the technical side. Uh, next, uh, Akshay, um, may I know uh, on what all projects you have worked on and, uh, you know, 
what were your expertise on that project what are the challenges can can i get a brief on that uh, i am working in like the ms project in ms we are using the sql mm -hmm. in that project we are using like the the common uh, cte and uh, most i am most part are the joints like uh, left join right join full join right and uh, and sql uh, sql query optimization okay 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 so uh, like what all challenges are you facing on your day to day activities in day to day activities the uh, more complex query okay so how do you handle those complex queries uh, i can uh, into make uh, the complex queries can make into the simpler with the help of using cts and the stored procedures okay stored procedures fine huh? Okay, fine. So Akshay, if being selected, uh, uh, you know, like uh, within how many days you can join the, you know, our company, we're given a chance. What's your minimum notice period? I can join in 60 days. Uh, okay, but uh, we are looking forward with uh, someone who can join immediately. Is that okay? I'm serving notice period of 60 days. Uh, so uh, uh, what's your salary expectation? What do you expect for this particular domain? As per the two as per the standard of the for road uh, for this role. Uh, SQL developer. Yes, for two years. Right. So uh, so what's your salary expectation? Range between the five to six lakh. To six LP, all right. One, uh, one, one more last question. Uh, so where do you see yourself in the next five years, uh, Akshay? Uh, in five, in next five years, I see myself to the the good team leader, okay. and uh, growth for the organization for the help to the contribute to the growth in, growth of organization. Okay. Well, so uh, yeah, that was all from my end. Uh, thank you uh, for joining, Akshay. Uh, we'll let you know with your feedback, right? Yes. Yeah, have a good day. Thank you.